Hello everybody and welcome to Would You Rather. Would You Rather is basically the browser equivalent of the game that you probably played with your family when you're younger or maybe you play down the pub with your mates. It's the game where somebody gives you a pretty tough question and they give you two possible answers and you have to pick either answer A or answer B. There is no answer C and you can't back away from the question whatsoever. You have to give a straight answer. Um, the questions would usually be something like, uh, would you rather be blind or deaf? Would you rather be 10 feet tall or 3 feet tall? Would you rather have no arms or no legs? Stuff like that. Well, I'm on a website that is basically a big database of questions like that. And I'm gonna link, uh, I'm gonna link it below in the description if you want to try this out yourselves. But I think this is gonna be kind of an interesting interactive experience, because what I'm gonna do is go through about 10 or so of these questions, um, and I'd like you to put your answers down below in the comments if possible. Um, or if you don't want to do that, I'm just going to ask you one very specific one at the end. Uh, I think it would be great, because personally for me, it would help me find out a little bit more about you guys, and obviously you can get a little bit more of an insight into the way my mind works, which might not be the best thing, but I guess we'll find out. So yeah, some serious, some silly, and some sick questions on this website. We're going to be starting off with a pretty sick one, honestly. Would you rather lick the floor at a club or lick a toilet seat at Walmart? Oh, okay. I do have a question. Uh, okay, Wait, I don't know if you can see this actually on the video. It says right at the bottom, both are disgusting. Uh, so I'm assuming this isn't a toilet seat that's being sold at Walmart. I thought I was going to pick that actually, because if it was one of the ones that have been sold, it's probably to come out of box. It's probably, you know, sterilized essentially. It's probably great. I might still pick it over licking the floor at a club because I've seen some club floors and... Uh, it, it really depends on the club, and I guess it depends on the toilet seat as well, but if you're forcing me to answer... <sighs> lick the floor at a club. I'd probably, like, find the clean part. <laughs> I don't know, but the floor at a club, probably. Yep. It turns out that 88% of people agree with me. You can see that thousands have already tried this question before. So yeah, just over 700,000 people agree with me. 12% would lick a toilet seat. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. Let's move on to the next question. I think this is going to be fun. Would you rather... <laughs> would you rather soil yourself and have nobody know, or not soil yourself, but everyone thinks you did? Um, I suppose, just going by reputation, I probably prefer soiling myself, having nobody know, than everyone else thinking I did. Because, you know, that's a bit harder to come back from, I think. So, yeah. Soil myself, have nobody know. Pretty simple for me. Yep, 79%. I'm in the pretty overwhelming uh, majority there. 21%? Wow, okay. I'm a little bit surprised. 21%, wow. Moving on then. Third question. Before you go to bed, would you rather take three shots of dip, tobacco, spit, or three shots of dirty bong water? Oh my god, these questions. Ser Honestly, some of them actually really do make you think. Some of them aren't disgusting. Trust me. We might get one later. I don't know. I... I don't know. I've never actually de dealt with it like a, a, a spit bucket. Or, you know, dip. I think that's really an American thing. Um, dirty bong water is probably pretty fucking horrible as well. I'm probably gonna go with the dirty bong water, honestly. Yeah, I don't like the idea of the, the you know, like a, the, the three shots of sp spit, essentially. <sighs> the lesser of two evils? I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence. I'm going to go with dirty bong water. Okay. All right. 63% to 37%. Wow. Never thought I'd have to think about that. But there we go. Okay, moving on to the next one. Would you rather teach Spanish or teach math? Um, I suppose teaching math is easier... It, de it depends at what grade level it is, because I could probably teach math to primary school kids. Uh, secondary school level, I probably don't know too much, you know, enough about it anyway to teach it anymore. Spanish, uh, my Spanish isn't great. I know pretty much every other European language apart from Spanish, kind of strangely. Um, or I know a little bit of, of every uh, other language in Europe anyway, but um, I guess it would rather be math. I'll have to do a little bit of revision every now and then, but yeah, I think so. I think math. 55%, okay, in the slight majority there. Moving on. Would you rather not be able to wear clothes or not be able to speak? 
Wow. So be mute or be naked. Right. Um, I, I, I don't know. I suppose in this day and age, there's many other ways you can sort of give your opinion on things, whether it be typing or texting, you know, stuff like that. Um, not being able to wear clothes. It depends on the environment and everything as well. I suppose... I, I do like to speak, if you haven't guessed already, from the thousands of videos that I've made on this channel where I speak quite a lot. Not being able to wear clothes though, I don't know. You know what? Yeah. I, again, I'm kind of on the fence with this one, but not be able to wear clothes. I like I like the ability to speak. 56%. Again, it's kind of a 50-50 one. 56 to 44. Alright, moving on. Would you rather have a British accent or have an Australian accent? Um, Strange one, actually. I'd kind of like to have an Australian accent in a, in a way. If I could switch between the two, that would be amazing. Um, have a British accent? Kind of, I kind of got it. If it was American or something, if, if American was a substitute, it might be a little bit difficult to choose. No, actually it wouldn't. <laughs> um, you know what, I'm just going to keep my British accent. I think it suits me quite well. So there you go, 61 to 39. That's okay. Would you rather make out with Gollum or hook up with Beetlejuice from the movie? Um, making out with Gollum, not a very pleasant experience. Hooking up with Beetlejuice... Does it have to be sex? Does it does it really have to be sex? Beetlejuice is probably more entertaining because he's got more capabilities and he's essentially like a fucking demon. He can do whatever he wants, really. So that could be en more entertaining in the long run. I, You know, I'm going to hook up with Beetlejuice. Fuck it. I don't care. You can judge me all you want. Beetlejuice is more fun. Go on. Okay, would you rather have holes put through both hands and both feet via nails and a hammer? Like stigmata, basically. Or go for 40 days in the desert without food? Well, well, okay. Um, if I had holes in my hands and my feet, I would probably survive. I think if I was in the desert for forty days without food, no, it's it's just not happening. I am. I don't think I'm living through that really. I mean, I'm I'm not a very fat person. I think I'd have to get overwhelmingly obese to have enough fat reserves to live through that. I, yeah, I'm gonna go with the painful option. Really, I'm gonna go with. Holes in my hands and my feet, I think. Yep, close one, but I am in the slight minority there. Alright. Would you rather string your opponent along for the entire fight, or crush them from the beginning? Why waste time? I mean, if you're going to fight someone, you might as well beat them as fast as possible, really. Unless you want to teach them a lesson or something. Crush them from the beginning, there you go. Okay, yep, 74 to 26% this time. Would you rather live an average life and be forgotten in time, or go down in history for something terrible? I I think I would live an average life and be forgotten in time, honestly. Fame doesn't really do too much for me. It's nice to be known for something, but not for something bad. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd rather die a forgotten hero than some, you know, evil man. So, yeah. Yeah. Average life, be forgotten in time. Average life, fine. 68%? Okay. That's, um, that's good. That's actually a little lower than I was expecting. 32% of people wouldn't mind doing something terrible. Hmm. Alright. Go on, then. Would you rather live in a giant shoe or live in a giant peach? Oh, like James. Do I have giant insects as well? Because those guys were fun. Uh, live in a giant shoe. I mean, how giant, how giant is this shoe? I don't know. I guess... If you have the giant peach, for a while, you could eat your own home. But that's that's not great. Um, I don't know. Live in a giant shoe? Maybe? Yeah, why not? Live in a giant shoe. Although the smell. Ooh. Although, sort of rotten peach. Ooh. <laughs> What's the lesser of the two evils here? Let's just go with, live with a giant shoe. I, I don't know. Live with a giant shoe. 50-50, really, for me. Apparently 40-60 to a lot of the people. Uh, slight minority again. Moving on to the next question. Let's go through, like, three more of these. Would you rather be stalked by a ghost for the rest of, uh, for your entire life, or be stalked by a demon for three days, and then die? Okay. So I'm picking death in three days, if I pick, if I pick the red one. I'm picking life, and getting occasionally spooked for blue. Easy choice. Yeah. 86 to 14%. That, 
that's that's not a tough question, really. Would you rather have your house burnt down by a fire-breathing dragon, or have your house blown down by the big bad wolf? <laughs> Straight out of the nursery rhyme. Um. Oh, okay. I don't know if you can see this, but at the bottom it says, Assuming that you end up eaten either way. So I'm going to get eaten by a wolf or eaten by a dragon. Um, I, I, I don't know. I would think it would be more epic to be eaten by a dragon than a big bad wolf. The house would burn down. The house would blown down. Most of my belongings would be burnt, I suppose, if the house was blown down. The building itself would collapse, but maybe a lot of the belongings would stay safe. But I, I don't know. I'm going to die either way. This is, this is a, a weird one. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with a, a fire-breathing dragon. Why not? 5347. Very, very difficult one there. One of those questions you never think you have, you're going to have to answer. But there you go. Okay. Two more. Two more. Okay. Would you rather get hit by a bus or watch a loved one get hit by a bus? Uh, okay, we've got a little bit more information down here. The impact would kill the victim. You could not close your eyes or turn away. Neither of you are suicidal. Alright, so it's either I die or watch a loved one die. Both would be very difficult to live with. <laughs> Obviously. Um, um, I... I don't mind... I don't mind being the sacrifice... In this, in this instance, I don't think. I wouldn't mind getting hit by a bus if it was going to save a loved one. So, yeah. I'll take the four. 78% of people agree with me. 22 disagree. Okay, so the last question. The last question is, would you rather live in Hyrule or live in the Mushroom Kingdom? Wow. Okay. Um, Hyrule is generally pretty cool. I mean, which, which version of Hyrule are we talking about? Because there's loads of games... And it changes slightly every time. The Mushroom Kingdom? Isn't there like some law in Mario that all the people that lived in the Mushroom Kingdom turned into blocks and the, you know, the question blocks and stuff? So obviously I don't want that to happen to me. I'm thinking Hyrule. Generally it looks better, I think. Probably a little bit more diverse as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Hyrule. Yeah. Wow! Okay, in the minority. I thought uh, Hyrule was going to be, you know, a, def a definite winner. But no, 46%. 54%. Very close. Okay, so that's it from me, on this side at least. Now I'm going to ask you, not anyone else watching this video, you specifically, yeah, you know who you are, to answer this. Would you rather see blurry all the time or see everything in black and white? Okay, this isn't a question I'm going to answer. This is a question I'm going to leave up to you. I'll await your comments below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.